In problem number 21, uh, we've got these two submarines. Okay, so uh, in this problem, we have these two submarines, and uh, excuse my drawing, but I'll draw my two little submarines here. So we've got like submarine number one, uh, and it's moving along at a given rate. And uh, they give that to us that the rate that the first submarine is traveling along under the water is 10 kilometers per hour. Okay? Uh, well, at the same time, this little submarine is just uh, moving right along under the water uh, level. There's an enemy submarine that's underneath this submarine, and it's moving along under the water, trying to maintain a position perfectly underneath this submarine. But at the same time, this submarine uh, is diving. Okay, and it's diving at an angle of 20 degrees underneath the submarine that's keeping level in the water. Okay, so we've got one submarine traveling along at 10 kilometers per hour uh, in one direction. The other submarine is maintaining its position below the first sub, but diving at an angle of 20 degrees. And the question in this problem is, uh, how fast is the horizontal um, depth of this lower submarine changing? Okay. Or how fast is the submarine diving, would be another way of asking this question. If it's maintaining its position under the first submarine and it's diving down at an angle of 20 degrees. Okay, so we've got some information here, and the first thing we need to do, oftentimes just drawing a little picture for yourself can be helpful, uh, because we really need to define what are the variables involved here, like what are the things that are changing, okay? In any related rates problems, there are going to be pieces in that problem that are changing, and if you don't recognize what the pieces are that change, then you can't really answer the problem and you can't come up with a formula that helps you to solve the problem. Well, there are really two things changing here in this problem. And one is this submarine on the bottom, it's moving from across from left to right. It's moving this way, some distance, okay? Uh, given some time, it will move some distance and I'm just going to call the distance that it would travel over some given period of time, I'll call that x. Okay? And at the same time it moves over a distance of x, it also dives a certain amount. And the amount it dives, I'm going to call y. So given a certain amount of time, it doesn't really matter what that time frame is, it will have traveled x, uh, in a horizontal direction, and it will have traveled y in a vertical direction. Okay, and now those are the two pieces that are kind of changing in this problem. And now I need a formula that ties those two pieces together in a way that makes sense. Well, this 20 degrees is a pretty big deal, that angle. And so what kind of formulas tie angles to two sides of a triangle? Well, trig uh, trig functions do. And so what trig function ties this angle here to the opposite side and the adjacent side? Well, tangent does. So let's use tangent to put these three things into one equation. Here's how we would do that. We have that the tangent of 20 degrees is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side. Well, in this case, the opposite side is y, and the adjacent side is x. So I have this equation that ties all the things in my problem that are changing together in that tangent of 20 degrees is y over x. Now, I could multiply both sides of this equation by x to rewrite this equation as x times tangent 
of 20 degrees is equal to y. Now I'm ready to take the derivative, okay? I've got this nice equation that relates x and y together, and now I take the derivative with respect to time. Well, tangent of 20 degrees, that's just some number, right? It's a constant. It can just stay around when I take the derivative. So I'm still going to have tangent of 20 degrees sitting here. And then I need to take the derivative of the x. But of course, derivative of x with respect to time is dx over dt. On the other side, the derivative of y is dy over dt. Okay, so I have the tangent of 20 degrees times dx dt is equal to dy dt. What is it I'm trying to figure out here? I'm trying to figure out how fast is this submarine diving. In other words, what's the change in that distance y over time? So I'm trying to figure out what is dy dt. Well, to figure out dy dt, all I really need to know is what's dx dt. What's the change in this x distance over time. And that's what I'm given because it's following the upper sub which is moving along at a constant little rate of 10 kilometers an hour. So I just plug in 10 here and I get the tangent of 20 degrees times dx dt, which in this case is 10, is equal to dy dt, which is what I'm trying to figure out. So what I end up with is 10 uh, times the tangent of 20 degrees is equal to dy dt. And I believe that if you punch this into your calculator, you'd get something like 3.4. So dy over dt is something like 3.4. And what is the units on this? And by saying equals here, I probably should say a little. It's approximately, because it's not exact, tangent of 20 degrees is not a nice uh, nice little decimal number. Uh, but what is the units on this? Well, y in this problem is measured, it's a distance, and distances in this problem are measured in kilometers. So this is 3.4 kilometers per Time in this problem is measured in hours. So it's 3.4 kilometers per hour that this thing would be diving.